we got a little head start on filling up the pond. Right now it's raining pretty bad. We got a lot of thunderstorm lightning, so. So welcome back to part two, guys. So last night before we left, we filled up the pond because once we build this stream where Rob's standing over there, that excavator can no longer reach any of these larger boulders. So what we wanted to do is, before we started actually building that whole waterfall, we wanted to fill this pond up and just basically do a static leak test. We filled the pond up. Right now we're draining the pond because we marked our water level. Water level held steady, so that means this pond is solid. Now we can get constructing the start of the waterfalls. So even though we do take extreme precaution, we have that geotextile underneath and then we sandwich another layer geotextile on top of the liner. There are cases where setting some of these larger boulders, especially with the machine that can't really hold them in the air for so long, there is a chance that stuff happens. But we do warranty our work, obviously, but it is a pond builder's worst nightmare to ever come back to a pond that's leaky. So the last thing we wanted to do is, obviously, after the large investment, is give a customer a pond that doesn't work at all. So to circumvent that, basically, what we do is we just do a static pond test right before we finish building it, especially in a scenario like this where we can't get the machine back here ever again. So we would have to tear out this waterfall or get like a spider crane in here and that's not what we want to do at all. So easiest way is before we just start building the waterfalls, just test the pond and it held water. So now we know we're good. Now we can edge this thing and start building this waterfalls. So onto the time lapse because we got to make some work today because we're going to get rained out tomorrow. So that is it for today. We have most of the waterfall actually complete. All that's left to do is just edge the pond, braid this berm out, and then build a retaining wall for the berm. So let me flip you guys around and show you what's going on right now. So as you've seen, our machine's basically been parked in this one spot and we've been feeding rock with a dingo from the front yard right there and just rocking into this waterfall one rock at a time like always. But we just have to gravel in the pond. We have to just edge it and then gravel in the stream edge this we have to obviously raise the soil up around these rocks so you don't see the outside of the rocks all this dirt has to get bermed out we're probably gonna have to bring in soil because we're gonna have to build a retaining wall away from the shed and garage so we're gonna have a retaining wall basically a foot or so away from the house just vertical just to help berm out that waterfall so it doesn't look so volcanic from right there to the pond we have about 10 feet of stream but with the twisting and turning it's probably a little more well, I tell you, I don't think you'd fit anything bigger in this backyard. It is so tight working back here. Even with this excavator, we have to be careful because we're so close to the house that that exhaust can melt that siding. So we have to be super cautious about being close to the house. We can't even swing all the way around because we're almost hitting the garage. That dingo barely fits to the gate. It is very tight back here, but we're getting it done. Me and Rob are gonna get to work on edging this waterfall, getting that berm grade out and building that retaining wall. That's the goal for today. And then hopefully gravel in the pond, fill it up and then get it to run. So you guys can get the final shots of what this pond really looks like.
So that is it for today. We basically wrapped up this whole pond. It looks great. All we have to do is really just rinse it down, fill it up, and landscape it because the customer is actually letting us landscape it. So we're going to do some really nice landscaping, some up lighting, accent lighting, and everything. But you guys don't have to wait for that. So here you go. Picture of me. <laughs> Oh, nice. nice. Happy? I'm happy, man. You should have told me I would have dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is great. This is what I wanted. <laughs> Get me a floaty. I'm going in the pond. <laughs> so beautiful, guys. Great job. Great job. Met up your expectations? Wonderful. Wonderful. I'd give you five stars. <laughs> Five stars. Nice twisting and turning, right? I love it. I love it. So our customer's been wanting a pond for 25 years, and until recently, until he recently had a heart attack, actually, he didn't pull a trigger, but after having a heart attack, he realized that life's too short to not enjoy life and the little things in life. So he finally pulled the trigger, got this pond installed, and I think he's loving it. It's adding years to his life, he said. Let me turn you guys around and show you what it looks like when you enter this backyard. You don't really expect anything too crazy because you have a garage here, then you wrap around this corner and you enter paradise. So we have a couple of hydrangeas over here, some junipers, and then you're just greeted by this. But that's where we just came in from. He has this table out here to dine with this family. And then you have these lounge chairs over here. You have a hot tub, you have a built-in outdoor kitchen. And you have this masterpiece. So what do you guys think about those final shots? I want to hear your comments down below. When you enter this backyard, I don't think the camera can actually pick it up, the ambiance and everything. So I'm just going to turn you guys around and just give you a tour of what this whole backyard looks like. So when entering over here, we have these awesome lounge chairs, a new sectional sofa. But when you turn right over here, this whole thing is just the center focal point of the backyard. We have all of our landscaping with spotlights, our pathway lights. This whole thing is super illuminated. And then the backyard just continues. You have an outdoor kitchen. You have a pergola with some cool LED lights and some hot tubs. He has another water feature back there that's not currently on. But the whole focal point is around this whole pond. So it's been a couple weeks since this pond's been running. It is crystal clear. And he has some really cool big size fish and some little ones i'm not sure if you guys can see those little guys darting around he has like five little guys and then these four big ones 
And we have the waterfall over here that absolutely creates the perfect ambiance for this backyard just with the sights and sounds. I'm not sure if you guys are picking up what it sounds like, but I couldn't ask for a more soothing sound inside this backyard. So that is basically a wrap for this video. So from start to finish, this was an amazing project. I think it came out wonderful. I couldn't ask for a better customer, a better project, a better setting for this pond. Well, that's it for today. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification button to see when we're releasing videos. But well, that is it.